Hey everyone, my name is Jess. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. And if you have never seen my face before, then welcome to my channel. I'm so excited to have y'all here with me today because I want to share a testimony that I'm so excited about. Um, I really hope that it could be encouraging to y'all and just lift your spirits if you're waiting on something similar. Um, I'm just so, so pumped and thankful for the Lord um, for what he has done. He is so good. And I will say really quick, I have tried to film a couple other videos and I just didn't really feel like they were something that I was wanting to post and I really want what I share to be like spirit led and everything like that. So I'm sorry for the delay in what I've posted, but hopefully this will be right on time for somebody. And yeah, so I want to go ahead and get into it. So the testimony I will be sharing is going to be about healing. And so, yes, I'm so excited. I'm going to go ahead and get into it. Basically, like several months ago, maybe five, six months ago, I started realizing that I was having some symptoms in my body um, that were just different. Like um, I was having a lot of nausea. There were some other things like sharp pains and stuff that was going on. And I didn't really understand what it was. So honestly, at first, I didn't really feel like it was a huge deal, but as time went on, I started to get a little bit worried, and I did go up for prayer at my church one time. There is an evangelist there, and I trust them. I know that they hear the voice of God, and so they prayed for me, and what they said at the very end was that God was speaking healing to my stomach um, like over a specific thing, and I was just really like again confused and I think from then on I started to kind of look into it and try to research and see what it could be but again I didn't take it super seriously because my symptoms weren't anything major like they weren't affecting me like crazy and then in the last like couple months that's when things started to get kind of not good um I honestly began to lose my appetite. It was like I wanted to eat, but I felt like I couldn't. Um, and I would be super hungry and I would sit down to, you know, eat a plate of food in front of me and would, I would just feel repulsed. Like I felt like I couldn't eat it. Um, and then, yeah, like I continued to have nausea, I continued to have sharp pains and just like a bunch of different sim symptoms. I can't even think of them all right now. But um, yeah, the main thing was just like the lack of appetite. Oh, another one that was really weird to me was like, I always felt like I had a pit in the bottom of my stomach. Like, it's like it wouldn't go away. And I just honestly couldn't tell what it was because I felt like there was genuinely like a physical issue. But then I also was like, okay, maybe like there is like a, you know, like, mental or emotional aspect to it as well I just really didn't know and honestly I am a believer in like medicine and science and doctors obviously but I also do believe in the supernatural and the spiritual realm so for me I was trying to like really decipher what it was and so again I did feel like there was a physical issue but I also felt like there could be something happening in the spirit and that started to be confirmed once I got prayer. Basically, I went to my prayer class at church and the woman there prayed for me. They were so kind and sweet to really take the time and just pray over any concern I had in that area. And I'm kidding you not, like literally I started to see a shift. I started to see a difference and they touched on everything physically, but they also, you know, touched on what it could be spiritually. And so during this time, like the last couple months, I was experiencing a lot of warfare. I know that I was like dealing with things mentally. I was dealing with things em emotionally, mentally. I was just fought with a lot of like just honestly sadness, I guess. And then in my emotions, I just felt like yeah it was like somehow my guard got down and i just started to feel all these different like emotions that i hadn't felt in a while and so i was just really struggling and um i noticed that it was like affecting my you know just everything was being affected around that time and so i do believe it was spiritual warfare and after they prayed i noticed the next day i started to feel like that pit in my stomach that had been there for a long time was starting to go away and that like i actually felt like i could eat and so for the next couple weeks it was like kind of up and down like it depended on the day but I started to have this mentality that I'm going to partner with the fact that I'm healed. Like I'm going to believe the fact that I'm healed. And so I'm going to push myself to want to eat even when I don't. So I'm going to eat. I remember um, like my appetite started to get 
better and better and I feel like at that point like my stomach probably had shrunk so I can't like unshrink it overnight but it was like progressively my appetite started to get better and so between like the two-ish two and a half weeks from when they prayed for me to my appointment I was able to walk into my appointment and like tell her all the symptoms that I had experienced over the last several months but say like hey the last couple weeks I've actually noticed a lot of change in this area and in this area and even like you know the sharp pains and nausea like stuff like that like I was not getting as nauseous um I didn't see you know as many symptoms as I was having before and so I was really grateful for that and so I was able to you know tell my doctor everything I needed to and we did get blood work done and the blood work came back totally normal and I'm gonna have like another checkup soon and everything but um honestly I'm believing I'm healed because whatever was going on like it's better now i don't know how else to explain that like i know it sounds kind of insane but what i personally think happened was that i was like being fought spiritually and so that's where like those thoughts were coming mentally you know i was being fought um my emotions were just up and down i feel like i was being fought in my emotions and then physically i feel like i was being fought and i'm not trying to make it sound like oh there was like this demonic force that was trying to like make me not eat so i starve or something but genuinely i feel like the spirit of fear can come over us in that way that it can make us feel so anxious it can make us feel like we can't you know even stomach anything because we're just like in this like fight or flight mode basically and so i know that kind of sounds intense and it doesn't really make sense and um I don't know it didn't really make sense to me until it really happened but I just started to notice that like every symptom I was dealing with started to subside and so I think on the natural side the Lord healed me like he said he would and then on the spiritual side I began to be able to combat that through prayer um, not just my prayers but with you know other people praying for me too it really really changed and so I believe that not only is the Lord healing me physically, but I believe that he's also healing me in my emotions and in my mind. Um, that's what I wanted to talk about today was healing. So I honestly feel like from the time we're saved from, you know, today, the Lord takes us on this journey of healing and just really going through our hearts and he starts to reveal things to us reveal to heal that's what i love to say that's like my little like catchphrase i guess reveal to heal um and i feel like god begins to like refine us and purify us and show us if we have any like bitterness or anger or jealousy or um just whatever is in us that is causing us to be broken or causing us to you know just have these like wounds that aren't healed um and so I began to realize from the very first day I followed the Lord, um, he began to show me that I had dealt with like unworthiness and shame and stuff. And from there, he was able to really work that, you know, out. And then even more recently, something I dealt with was anger. Just again, I feel like I'm just being an open book, but it's totally cool. I hope that's okay with y'all. But even lately, like I'm not an angry person by any means. So I wasn't like, you know, just randomly like, going and yelling at people i don't know but um even though my anger wasn't necessarily directed at somebody i began to see that the lord was showing me i was just holding a lot of anger in my heart and um so he began to like let that surface and sometimes when we go through tests and trials we don't necessarily realize that it's actually for our healing but it really is and so I've tried to learn to embrace those things. It can be really hard to try to, you know, submit to the process of healing. And, you know, when you're going through something um, that's either tempting or just really hard or whatever it may look like, you don't necessarily always realize you're being tested, but you are because God wants to show you your character and what you have in you. And um, I believe our true character is, you know, we're shaped you're shaping to be more like Jesus but um sometimes you know those things need a little bit fine-tuning I realized that the Lord was showing me um there's areas in me through these like tests and and trials and everything that needed fine-tuning and so even in being sick 
I feel like the Lord was using that for good in me needing healing in my body. I feel like the Lord allowed it because he showed me where it paired in the spirit and how it matched up with my emotions and just where, where I was at, you know, I really believe it is the Lord's will that we are healed. Um, I know for some of us, it'll be in heaven when we have our glorified bodies. And for some of us, it'll be here on the earth, but I truly believe it is his will, his good and perfect will that we be healed. Um, I don't feel like it's his plan for us to be sick. I totally believe that he wants us to be healed. And I feel like that is why he showed me even before things got worse, that um, he was going to heal me. And so um, I just wanted to testify to that, that if anyone is waiting on their healing, um, go ahead and claim it. And I'm gonna be praying that with you, that you will receive your healing. But I know for some people, they've been waiting like years and years for their healing. And so I do wanna be sensitive to that. It doesn't mean like you've done anything wrong. It doesn't mean you don't, don't have enough faith. If you aren't healed yet, I just completely think that um, it's different for everybody because I've seen, you know, pastors and preachers that have a ton of faith and believe with all their might um, and it takes them a long time to be healed or they haven't been yet um, versus someone that like, you know, just got saved and they're able to be healed. So I do want to say that. Um, so I just don't want to come off, you know, um, insensitive when it comes to healing. Um, but yeah, I just think for my um, for my example that I'm sharing with y'all, I think the Lord really did it to be able to show me areas of my heart that needed healing. I feel like the Lord allowed it to, you know, manifest physically for me to really be able to acknowledge that or else I might have just tried to go on and on and on. But now because of the fact that I was dealing with that thing you know, dealing with these things physically, I was able to force myself to stop, get help, ask for help, ask for prayer, be able to, you know, really slow down and assess what's going on with me and try to take care of myself like emotionally and mentally so that I won't, you know, continue to go down this like rabbit hole of feeling bad physically. Cause I think, I don't know about y'all, sometimes I like to suffer in silence so if I'm not feeling good emotionally or mentally, you won't hear a peep from me about it because I just like to go on. But I feel like when it comes to something physical, especially something to me that bothers me, like losing weight and dealing with like stomach issues where it's like I can't eat and I need to be able to eat to, you know, do things and live and whatever. Um, I think that because that happened physically, it forced me to deal with what I was you know, being fought with emotionally and mentally and kind of take a step back and like take care of myself in that way. And so I think that sometimes we don't realize that God allows the hard things, the bad things to happen, like for our healing, for our own good. And so I think that if we just look at it, like for, you know, what it looks like in the natural, we'll be like, God, why did you allow me to feel bad? Why did you allow me to you know lose the weight why would you allow me to like feel this way and instead we miss the part where it's like actually he used that to be able to draw attention to what was going on behind the scenes um which was you know dealing with that anxiousness that fear and everything else again i do think it was like dual sided i think there was something in the natural like physically that was wrong i also think there was something spiritually in you know the supernatural realm stuff like that that was actually wrong but yes so <laughs> i feel like i've gone in circles and i hope that kind of made sense but i guess all that i'm saying is that i really believe in the power of prayer i believe that the lord can heal us this is coming from me that has had healing before from the lord too so i would love to share that story with y'all i feel like it's such a long story that i don't even know how to wrap my mind around like telling that story so maybe i'll try to condense it and share that story with y'all but i definitely definitely believe in healing and so i hope that me being able to share um this story would help somebody again i don't really know i feel like um healing can look different for everybody and so i don't want anyone to feel discouraged of like if it doesn't look 
this way for them but I also want you guys to feel encouraged that it could be that quick it could be you know the power of prayer and agreement and you know believing in your healing and like partnering with it and stuff um that could you know lead to your healing so that's all I really have to say about it today um again like I said God I do believe he wants to heal us like physically mentally emotionally and I feel like in different ways God is doing all three for me and so I'm very very thankful for that and I'm just thankful that I'm able to share this this experience with y'all because honestly I think it was like a couple days ago I woke up in the morning and like the first thing I heard it was like dropped in my spirit immediately it was like not everything you go through is for you and I felt like what he was saying in that was not everything that I go through here on this earth or that you go through here on this earth is just about our story but honestly it's about like how we can help other people how we can you know spread the goodness of God to other people and so if I have to go through something hard to learn a lesson or to learn about God um, more to be able to share that with you guys then I hope that you know I'll be able to do that the best way I can and just be able to see that process and submit to it so that it helps somebody and same for y'all, I just pray that you see the trials and things that you are walking through right now and consider it as joy so that you can help people around you. There are so many people in this world that don't know Jesus. And honestly, if your story, your testimony, your healing, whatever it looks like can um, help somebody out there, then I feel like that is worth it because that's honestly our job here on this earth until we go to heaven is to be able to share the gospel of Jesus Christ and share God's love. And so, yeah, I hope again that this testimony could have helped somebody. Um, I hope it made sense. I'm just very thankful for the turnaround in my body and for having my appetite back and being able to eat whatever I want again. And I'm so happy about that. And just having the energy to like go about my day and being able to just feel like me again, honestly. So yes, um, it's not a testimony I've shared with many people, but I really felt to share it with y'all. Um, I just love you guys and I hope that you're all doing well. And I'm just going to be praying for people. If you guys want to comment down below, like if you need healing or anything you need prayer for, I would literally love to pray for you guys. Um, I've even thought about posting a video where I like pray for you guys, just like about your prayer requests and you guys send them in and I'll like make a video just about, you know, me praying for y'all. I don't really know. And if you want, um, give this a big old like and comment down below if you do have anything that you want to share. And then what, was, what else? Um, subscribe, please, if you want to, if you want to join the family. We are the body of Christ, brothers and sisters in Christ. Amen. So if you want to join the squad, the family, the whatever, you know, go ahead and do that. Um, or I guess, you know, if you just want to see my videos in the future, then it'd be nice to subscribe. Anyways, all right. Well, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching all the way till the end. And I love y'all. Okay, bye.